Update 4 has officially been released as of yesterday in the Isle of Dreamer and now today I'm going to be giving you the entire overview of this update trying to keep everything jam-packed into this video so if I do miss anything let me know in the comments and I'll update the pinned comment and I'll add all of that I've missed so you are kept in the loop completely. That being said if you do want to go to specific parts of the video timestamps are on the screen now so go to them if you wish. If you are new and you want to subscribe please do so i'm aiming for 9,000 subscribers by the end of the year let's just get right into the video diet system adds a whole bunch to the game and is definitely the biggest part of this update in fact update 4 was diets and fractures and it's definitely not let us down in the diets department basically your dinosaur has now got three different foods that it needs to eat in order to get a perfect diet. This means that you have to eat those three foods and if you are eating anything different you could get a negative or bad diet which leads to debuffs but if you are able to perfect it, get a perfect diet, you get some buffs. Basically these buffs include health, stamina, scent range and growth rate increases and it basically makes them a lot better, makes you overall performing a lot better as a dinosaur and speeds up your growth time. If you do not get the right new nutrients you will go into a bad diet and that gives you negative effects on stamina health damage output scent range and growth rate you can also see your dinosaur take a lot longer to grow here now how do you get these nutrients now each dinosaur has a specific set of nutrients that it will get three specific ones at that which will spawn in different areas on the map now i couldn't find any diet guides so i can't really tell you what each dinosaur gets just yet however if you want me to make a video on that i will probably get one by next week however lucky for you you actually do have the stuff that tells you if you press tab in the character selection screen it will tell you what your dinosaur wants to get in your progression it shows you what the dinosaur eats and another thing is you will find food because the new scent system allows it to be a lot easier to find your preferred food because in the compass it will show up as green if it's yellow it's not preferred food and it gives you a bad diet but you can eat it if it's green it's your preferred diet and that's what you must eat so tying into this we also have a new scent system now this is tied into the diets update so i'm going to be covering it here to make it easier the scent system is now on the compass this showcases icons for the food carnivores have passive scent as well as meaning if they walk past a trail it will light up and be highlighted mainly blood and footsteps fresh footsteps carnivores can press q to lock onto footprints to follow them it will give the direction that the player has gone as well this is planned to be fleshed out in the future one other thing is that the old scent system is gone it's replaced with icons and this is more for colorblind users and helps them out a lot better another thing that ties into the diet system is brand new ai creatures these include rabbits boars deer chicken frogs fish and crabs and now be careful because those boars are basically like hog riders. They will kill you. They are relentless. I have been killed twice by them in an hour gameplay session as a Pachycephalosaurus. They're not to be trifled with. They will hunt you down like a heat-seeking missile. Carnivores can eat these AI creatures and they will go towards their preferred diets as well. However, speaking of carnivores, do not cannibalize because that gives you negative effects for your diet and could make you sick. Now, I am trying to keep this as brief as possible so we can cover everything so let me know if I did miss out anything so yeah let me know in the comments we now have the fractures system in the game which is bringing back a once hated mechanic in the aisle but I feel like it's a lot better now so let's just talk about it so basically you have three different areas of your body which you can fracture and they all do different things so firstly you get a leg fracture which means the dinosaur cannot use any special attacks that involve jumping and also means they move at a reduced speed next up you have a body fracture which means dinosaurs use more stamina when sprinting jumping jumping and attacking and during a jump or a bit jump ability the dinosaur takes damage and then you can combine them to get a leg and body fracture which is a combination of both so you get both the effects from both of them and then you can get a head fracture which is basically meaning that any basic attacks of the dinosaur are weakened vision is limited intake of food and water is also a lot slower as well and it just is a whole nightmare if you get a head fracture because you'll be having a very very bad time 
time. You can also take a leg fracture from pretty much anything from falling off high ledges. However, one thing that you should be worried about is the new Pachycephalosaurus, which is a fracture inducing nightmare. Speaking of the fracture inducing nightmare Pachycephalosaurus, it is now in the game. So what is Pachycephalosaurus? This is a dinosaur version of a bull basically with two legs and a whole lot of temper and a bony skull which means that if you get on the wrong side of it you'll be having a nightmare and I'm pretty sure all trolls will be now using this dinosaur. This is a dinosaur not to be trifled with because Pachycephalosaurus as I've said has that bony dome on its head that comes along the fracture system and means that you are absolutely fucked if you get headbutted by one of them. Pachycephalosaurus has a very interesting diet as well. It eats argave, coconuts and horned melon. Now with the coconuts you have to be a little bit older to knock them off of the trees because at the moment you cannot knock them off the trees as a baby which means you cannot get that full nutrient bar when you're a baby. These food can be found in plains for the agave and the melon as well as arid biomes and for the coconut it's in plains and coast biomes. Pachycephalosaurus will take about two hours to grow and if somehow someone has got a full growth of it at the moment feel free to let me know the precise details in the comments down below after an hour and a half stream yesterday and a lot of deaths I was about 25% so I'm thinking that two hours is the growth range for Pachycephalosaurus in the update currently I feel like that would be the fit nicely anyways. This dinosaur is a medium sized dinosaur it's a herbivorous dinosaur so it obviously eats plants However, it actually is a well defendable dinosaur because obviously it's got that fracture inducing attack. Let me know what you think about it. This guy has a headbutt attack and a charge attack for its alt attack as well. So yeah, let me know your thoughts about Pachycephalosaurus. Was it worth the wait? Comsognathus is now in the game. I'm going to keep this pretty brief because this is pretty much the garbage disposal unit of the aisle and that's pretty much it. If you're leaving a corpse, a pack of Comsognathus AI will run up to it and try and eat it as fast as they can to get that corpse to despawn a lot faster, which is nice. It's some nice ambient AI in the game. Definitely means if you can catch them, you can hunt them down and kill them quite quickly. However, this is not a playable AI. I don't believe there are any plans at the moment to make this play if it is, it's a later stage thing. In the next stage, we have the Pteranodon latch. Now, this is another very brief one, but this means that Pteranodon can latch onto vertical cliffs and surfaces pretty much. Basically, to perform this, you basically press the right mouse button while performing an air break, and then that means you can latch onto a surface. Now, trust me, if you come in a bit too fast, you'll probably slam it into the side of the cliff and fall down it. So be a bit careful and try on the smaller vertical cliff faces first. And finally, we have some map additions. Before I actually go into what else was added, we actually have quite a bit of map additions and biome additions. If you look in the south, this is where all these new additions are. From a brand new coastal region, which looks absolutely beautiful, brand new islands, and of course, you've got the dockyard, which I have no clue why is in the main branch, because it's not finished at all. However, I hope it gets finished eventually. That being said, the islands are perfect for pteranodon growth and it is one hell of a beautiful area you know you've got caves you've got the big cliffs you've got the arches you've got the stacks you've got all of that and it's definitely a biome that i think you should explore what's your thoughts on these new biomes and do you think the dock should have been kept in the public test or do you think it should have been added to the officials because it's not finished let me know your thoughts in the comments down below now we now got a full list of everything else that has been added in this update and these are not the bug fixes. I'm not even going to talk about bug fixes because there are a lot of them. There's like a whole page. I'd have to zoom out to get them. So this is all of the new additions in this update. So added death sounds for all characters, added tail physics with trail controllers, added new Utah Raptor broadcast call, added new mud textures, added wide Ciba tree variants with imposters and new branch textures, added more ocean ambient audio, added vocal sounds to Stegosaurus sit and stand animations, added Carnotaurus sit vocal and reduced volume of stand call, added swamp fauna one shots, added phone interaction plugin and fixed massive performance 
performance issues, added a galaxy to the night sky, added custom flooring to the radio tower, added subtle wind foliage rustle loops to swamp jungle plains biomes, added random triggered stick snap sound to walk forest walks, trot and sprint cues, added a delay in changing direction when moving fast, added some new sounds to Dryosaurus, added new falling impact sounds, added some new Tenontosaurus supplementary vocal sounds, added location to death logs, added more rock level of detail materials, added large detailing to the ocean material, added DLSS plugin, added DLSS option in two settings, added character panel to the escape menu, added new sound system for rivers and beaches, added ocean shore blending to small rocks, added new trim decals, added specific repeating bird loop intermittently in jungle morning, day and evening, added system to toggle sound based on what is being eaten, added herbivore bite chew sounds to grab and swallow animations, added time of day in the character profile, added hint when you shouldn't swallow something, added a 3 second timer to toggling the spectator mode, added a value that changes intensity value for pain sounds, added better fish movement and more responsive fleeing, added more movement to fish when stuck against side of rivers, added specific vocals for each animal, added streamer mode and adjusted pounce when colliding and playing a knockdown animation. There is a whole bunch there, that is everything that was added in the brand new update. There is a lot, an absolute huge list, and that is pretty much everything that we have got in Update 4. So let me know your thoughts. What are you most happy for with Update 4? And if I have missed anything, which I know I would have, let me know in the comments. I'll update the pinned comment and then yeah, that's pretty much that. Let me know your thoughts about this update in the comments down below. There is a lot here and I think it's an amazing update. Update 4 is finally here. How long do you think it'll take until we get the next update now? I will definitely have an overview update of what's coming in update 5 for you guys. So you guys know what is coming in that next update. Because now we've got update 4 and it's out. If you are new, feel free to subscribe. But other than that guys, I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you all in the next one. Have a great day. Peace.